Putney is one of the largest and most vibrant parishes in Southwark Diocese. The, the parish is, uh, consists of two churches, um, but two churches who are slightly different in their worship style. Our ethos is one of the inclusive love of God, that God loves us more than we can begin to imagine, as we are, but also for what we can become. And we travel together, we grow and we change in the love no more revealed to the world than in the person of Jesus Christ. Over 20 years ago was that we just moved to the parish, Jeremy and I, uh, my husband Jeremy and I. We arrived at St Mary's and the parish warden at the time was Richard Holman and he greeted us at the door and he remembered our names because when we came back a week later he said hello Caroline and Jeremy and we were so amazed about that welcome and we've been coming ever since really. I think it was um, with the impending birth of my first um, child. I think like most people when you have your first child and you start your family you start to think more about um, faith and religion both from a personal point of view and what you want for your children and, and that drives you to you know to make some decisions and one of the decisions I made was wanting to get more involved with the church. I um, have in my life had a fairly loose connection with the church it's been a, a sort of it's been an on-off thing and I came here and it was very dynamic it was a, immediately a really dynamic sense about the community and about the about what what goes on in the church here and came to this parish in 1962 when, uh, when uh, Margaret and I got married. This place is marvellous because we were both accepted. We didn't have to put on any pretense or, uh, of what we were or who we were. It was part of rethinking a lot of things about the way we live. We started to think what sort of community do we want the children to grow up in and what do we want to teach them. And part of that was thinking I'd like them to grow up belonging to a church and having a sense of, of worship and faith so they can make their own choices uh, but have that informed sense when they become older. We are a very scriptural parish. We take the Bible very seriously. We read it every day and we engage with it. For me it's a place of sanctuary and a place where I can be quiet and still in the middle of the hurly-burly of London life. I mean, when you sit in St Mary's Church and you look out through the windows and you look at the traffic coming across the bridge and yet you can be in such peaceful surroundings, a real sense of quietness and an opportunity to worship. I think for me what is exceptional about the parish is the fact that it is so accepting. Uh, I feel that when I come to church I feel there is an emphasis on the real world and talking about faith as we behave in our everyday lives, talking about current affairs, we pray for people in the news, um, and it just seems more relevant than some of the churches I've gone to. When you're on a journey with the Bible, with scripture, you're always striving to move as Jesus moved, to go with the Holy Spirit, to find where God is at work in the world now. The end of the Bible is the great book of Revelation and the vision of the city of God coming down from heaven a reformed humanity, a new humanity at one with God. We're not there yet, we're really not. We're on the journey and the Bible takes us as the people of God along that road. We're a very diverse group of people in the parish of Putney, but we're God's pilgrim people in this place. We travel together, we don't always get it right, uh, but we do travel together and we seek to live out what it is to be disciples of Jesus Christ in the world. Both churches and the parish of Putney sit very firmly in the liberal tradition of the Church of England and Anglicanism. I think sometimes liberal is misunderstood, it's mistaken for an anything goes kind of philosophy. I think perhaps the word progressive might be a better word. I think it's very important to me that this is an inclusive church where all people are welcome regardless of their race, their gender, their sexuality, the sense in my understanding of the Christian faith that all are welcome and all feel that they can begin to travel on a journey of faith and it's a place where they can ask questions um, and not be judged or expected to know the answers. I wasn't brought up as a Christian and I wasn't baptised and I always had a sense of 
church being for other people and of being a bit of an outsider. And I haven't felt that at all here. I felt accepted from the beginning, even when I admitted my guilty secret of, look, I'm, I'm not sure about this and I'm not baptised. People were just accepting and warm and said, what you are is fine, come with an open heart, and beyond that, it's absolutely fine. I come here on a Sunday and I'm invited to, I feel challenged every week. And, and I'm not always comfortable with it, I'm not always easy with it, I'm not always easy with my own belief. But I am, I am challenged with it and I'm happy to live with the mystery of it. And I don't want to get too happy living with the mystery of it, I embrace it. If I want to go to a function they don't say, oh you can't come because there's no wheelchair access or something. They don't typecast me and think, right, because she uses a wheelchair she can't do this or she can't do that. I can, do, I can get involved in anything I want. When I first arrived in the parish of Putney, I likened it to being airlifted onto an ocean-going liner and expected to steer it. But the reality is it has a momentum and a life of its own, a life in the spirit, uh, in which it uh, carries on and does some wonderful work, uh, both in the church and in the wider world. There's so many things going on. You can belong to children's groups, you can belong to music groups, drama groups. Um, there's something for everybody here. What I love about this parish is um, walking into um, church on a Sunday and seeing a, a packed church. It feels like the family that I, I don't, the extended family that I never had. Just the way they operate, you know, I've seen, I've seen that they care about people. Worshipping God, not in the abstract, but in community. I, th I think that's what community is here, having something that you can belong to. Goes on, it gets so heavy. We live out our lives in service. Um, we go in peace to love and to serve the Lord, and that's reflected so much in the work we do, for instance, through Parish Action, where we seek to help some of the neediest in our own community and in the world. And over the last seven years, since we've been running as a group, uh, we've raised between 30 and 60,000 pounds every year for our charities, and that adds up now to some hundreds of thousands of pounds even though we're all volunteers, we're all short of time, and we'd love it if you also would find it in your heart to be able to give some support to them. People are very engaged with the local community, there's so much done for charity, for the homeless, uh, for the disadvantaged, and I thought these seem to be people who are actually practicing what they preach. We want to be there for other people. Um, we have a sense that God's love is so extraordinary that we've got something really worthwhile that's sharing and we would just encourage people to come along and, and find out more. We have a big outreach to young children, it's a priority for us. We believe that to nurture young people and children is massively important. After all, they're going to carry on the story as the next generation. We marry lovers, we baptise babies and we care for the dying and we enable the dead to have dignified and proper funerals. And that's available to everyone in our parish, regardless of whether they are regular churchgoers or not. I was all at sea. I'd never organised a funeral before. I didn't know what was involved. I, I just didn't know where to start. And um, Chris, the vicar, was very, very supportive without being dictatorial without being, that dreadful word, judgmental about the fact that we maybe were not the most assiduous churchgoers. I got many, many letters afterwards and the same theme emerged from all the letters was um, a, how welcoming the church was to everybody, whatever religion or no religion they were. And um, somebody said to me that with with a service like that, the church is in good hands. We are a strong, vibrant church. It's important that we articulate that message in the world, that we explain our intelligent and un understanding of the love of God in Christ in a world which so often sees God's love as limited and narrow. The world we live in, religion has got a bad press. Well, I think really the antidote to bad religion, and there's enough of it about, is not no religion because that leaves a space where anything and everything can fit. The antidote to bad religion 
is good religion, kind, compassionate, inclusive religion. If what we believe is precious to us and it is good, then we should share it with other people because it's likely to be precious to other people as well.